My name is Ed Miller. I'm the PGA professional over at Forest Park Golf Course. And today I would like to talk to you a little bit about chipping. One of the big misconceptions in golf, at least most people have been taught this, and tell me if you have, is when doing basic chips with a sand wedge or a wedge, is to have the ball back and the hands way forward. At this point, we're trying to, you know, a lot of people will call this the hinge and hold, and doing basic chips like that. The problem with that is when we get the club so far forward like this, the leading edge, which is actually designed to dig, will actually dig into the turf. We don't necessarily want that for a basic chip. Plus our sand wedges are designed with usually a bigger sole and what is called bounce that will help us out with our chip shots. We wanted to get into ball back, hands way forward. I would recommend just getting a club with less loft, setting it up where the hands are nice and straight and utilizing it almost like a putter. This will still shoot the ball out low and get it rolling. But back to the sand wedge, for most basic pitch shots and chip shots, we do not want to necessarily over exaggerate our hands. We are still technically swinging the golf club and trying to utilize the bounce to help us with our chip shot. Setups are pretty much the same. Feet are relatively close because we don't necessarily want a wide stance. We're not trying to generate power. We're doing a soft shot, touch shot. So feet close, heels are almost touching. I'm going to set the club right down behind the ball, grip the club normally, and what you'll see are my hands are actually slightly in front of the ball, but almost even. And at this point, all I'm going to really try to do is just swing the club back and through, almost brush the ground. The bounce will technically allow me to swing the club through without actually digging into the turf. So a basic example, hands are even with the ball, got the club there, boom. What you should notice is that the club or the handle actually only swings in the area about this much and the club head is actually doing all the work for you. So again, quick summary, do not over exaggerate the hands forward because what you're actually really doing there is having the leading edge dig into the ground. Nice neutral setup and just make sure you're continually following through and you'll let the bounce brush along the ground. It'll still pop the ball out and get the ball rolling. Hopefully that'll help.